All right, everyone, welcome back. Let's get one thing straight. We don't want you to stop moving when you hurt your back. Conventional wisdom has people rest, rest, rest. That just used to be the recipe. That used to be the prescribed medication, rest. Well, guess what? You know us by now, we don't want you to rest. Well, rarely do we want you to rest, okay? Only when there's extreme extenuating circumstances do we want you guys to rest. Now, there's a reason I'm filming the video today with awesome Gold's Gym right behind me, okay? We love to see people here, we love to see the active environment, and we want you to keep moving. There's a reason why we prescribe movement as compared to rest, especially for things like back pain. Now, there are different categories of back pain, uh, but the bottom line is we don't care whether it's a pulled muscle, whether it's a disc herniation, whether it's stenosis, anything like that. We want you to move, all right? Chances are you're going to be served far better by moving and doing certain progressive movements than you are by just resting. In fact, who here, if you're watching, throw your hand up, and let's be honest, I can't see you, so you don't actually have to put your hand up, so put your hand down, you look kind of silly. Uh, but just think to yourself, if you've ever hurt your back, have you said, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna rest for a couple days, um, you know, wait to see if it gets better. Yeah, sure, the pain may get a little bit less, but it's still painful to move around. It's still painful when you roll over in bed. It's still painful when you get up from the toilet. It's still painful if you try and bend down and pick something up. So we want you to move. Rest alone will not do too much for you, all right? We want you to move. We want you to load up the body. We need you to start to progressively load your body in such a way that A, it gets stronger, but B, your brain realizes, hmm, maybe I don't have to rest here. Maybe it's okay for me to start moving. So there's a number of reasons why we want you to continue to move, all right? The least of which is, well, when you're injured, following conventional wisdom, you tighten up, you stiffen up, you just kind of protect yourself and you stop moving for days on end. Most of the people that come in to see me for their first appointment with back pain, they're very guarded in their mannerisms and the way they're talking, their movements are very confined here, they're not very relaxed, they're very stiff and guarded. So the first thing I do is, Hop on the bike. I want you to just spin your legs a little bit. We start chit-chatting. We kind of talk about other things. And by the end of maybe five, six, seven minutes into it, they're actually much looser, okay? They're, they're not as guarded in their movements. They kind of hop off the bike. They're a little bit more free. And then we get them into the rest of the assessment. We get them into some movements and things like that. So, um, you know, really we can't stress this enough that we want you moving more when it comes to back pain, as shocking as that might sound. But we need to kind of ditch the old, uh, old conventional wisdom and just kind of toss it to the wayside. And let's, let's make room and make way for the new, uh, the new goal, which is move more and move better, okay? So um, yes, there are situations where movement is not always important, or I should say, there are times when we need to strict certain types of movement, all right? But the bottom line is there are always going to be movements that are going to be appropriate and necessary to help you in that uh, situation. So, um, you know, the coming, uh, coming series will be, I guess, addressing different types of back pain um, and how and why those things might be better for you. But ultimately, when people come in with back pain for us, guess what? You're gonna be squatting, you're gonna be carrying weight, you're gonna be deadlifting, you're gonna be moving your spine around, all right? We need to teach you to move better and we need to let your body handle more progressive weights so it can get stronger and also tell your body, listen, it's okay. We need to be able to do these kind of things. We need to be able to handle this kind of weight. We need to be able to move better without your brain sounding the alarm. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much the goal for this, uh, this video is just to tell you guys, we need you to move more when it comes to back pain. I don't care what people used to do. I don't care that they say you have to rest and rest and rest and wait and wait and wait. Well, you know, hurry up and wait is never a good thing. So we want you loading it more. We want you telling your body, shut up. We can handle this brain stop sounding the alarm, we're gonna be okay, all right? So there are certain movements and categories of movement and exercises that are going to be beneficial for you and you don't always have to rest and wait it out and just see how it goes, okay? So I don't know if that's surprising to some of you, but if you watch enough of our videos, you know that that's pretty much how we operate. So again, man, I love this place out here. It's a buzzing atmosphere. So. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you guys uh, are kind of enjoying the video series. We really appreciate everybody's support on this. So again, share this with your friends or tell your friends to come watch at least. Um, you know, give us a like button, give us a subscribe. So, um, you know, whatever it is guys, happy training and we'll catch you on the flip side.